Hi guys, I wanted to show you how to create this neon light effect in Photoshop. So if you have your text, the first thing you want to do is click on your text, right click and convert this into a smart object. Now you want to go pick up your path selection tool at the top. Make sure that your fill, you uncheck it so it's empty and you want to change your stroke color to white. Now the pixel, you can set it to five pixel or whatever pixel size you want. So with this set, we want to go ahead and add a layer max. So click on the layer max. Now pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. We all know black hides white reveals. You want to go ahead and begin to dab in some areas that you want to basically um, sort of slightly hide. So we are just going to do something like this and you can take your time and do it whichever way you prefer or you want. Now you can reduce your brush if you want to also get some other areas as well. So let's say we have this and we are satisfied. So we are going to right click on that layer and we are going to convert that into a smart object. Now we are going to make three duplicates of this. So hold down command J three times and we are going to click on the second layer. We are going to go to filter, blare and Gaussian blare. Now we want to go ahead and add a very um, small level of blur. So we'll go with a point five. Um, I'm going to go with a point five. I'm going to click. Okay. Pick the second one, go to filter, repeat the same process. And we are going to increase our blur effect to eight. Now we are going to do that for the last one, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we are going to take this a notch up to about a 10. And we're going to click OK. So with this set, we want to go ahead and add a new layer. So click on your plus icon with your brush. Pick up your make sure your foreground is white. Now dab in some areas just so you can add a bit more of a light sauce to the text. Now this is random so you can um, just place it wherever you want. So once you have all of the light source in the location that you want you want to go ahead and change the blend mode of this and we are going to set this to soft light we want to also go ahead and duplicate this layer command j make a duplicate and we are going to go ahead and change this to linear dodge and we're going to take the opacity down for this one so we have something like this effect. Now with this set, we are going to go ahead to add one more layer. So click on the plus icon, add a new layer. Now with this one, we are going to click on our foreground color and choose any color of our choice. We're going to go with the cyan, click OK, increase your brush head. And we are going to go ahead and dab in some areas like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and change my color to a purple, a deep purple, and I'm going to go ahead and dab in this area as well. So you can see that I'm randomly placing these colors. So once we are satisfied with this, we want to go ahead and add a blur effect to this layer. So go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, now we are going to go ahead and increase this a little and I'm going to go ahead to click OK. Now we want to make a duplicate of this. So command J on the same layer. Now we want to merge both layers. So hold down shift, select both layers, right click and merge layer. So with this merged, we want to go ahead and change the blend mode of this and we are going to set it to overlay. Now, once you set it to overlay, you see that you have a neon uh, light effect. Now, you can take it a step further by clicking on the um, image um, on the layer below. And we are going to go ahead and increase our fill so we get it a bit more brighter. 
So you have sort of this cool effect happening on your text. Now you can go ahead and enhance your final look. You are going to go ahead and add a hue and saturation by clicking on our adjustment. So once we have our hue selected, we can go ahead and basically begin to either change up the color or basically enhance your color. So you have something more like this, or you can stick with what we had before. I can go ahead and reduce the light effect if I want, or I can increase it. So guys, this is a very simple tutorial that I just wanted to share because I just happened to chance on it. I hope this was helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next tutorial. So today you have two tutorials in one day. Enjoy. Bye y'all.